one of the things I like about like panel data reporting is that like, I, it, by the way, and I, I, was, I told you on the phone and, and, and I wasn't just kissing up, like it is actually one of the only blogs I read and it's because you actually like write these thoughtful articles. Mm -hmm. And I feel like so much of the values become like just like trying to like size everyone up. It's mm -hmm. like how much money have you raised, what is your valuation. None of our valuations are really that real without liquidity for the value of the company. Right. So I try not to let this go to the heads of us or the employees. We're not successful yet. Right. Like we're successful when we're profitable for a really long time and we've truly delivered on our promise for millions of customers all over the world and we've created this new economy around sharing that's in every corner of the world. Like, then we're successful and that's a lot of years away. And in the wake of us raising money at that valuation, it was incredibly distracting. I don't think it was helpful and I think there's just too much of an emphasis. Like, there's such an emphasis on like how much money you've raised as if like that's an accomplishment. Right. And all that is is a big promise. That's mm -hmm. all it is, is a big promise. And by the way, it's not an accomplishment to raise a lot of money. It's actually an accomplishment to build a great business without having raised a lot of money. Right. But it turns out a lot of businesses take money to raise. But like, we shouldn't be patting people on the back for raising money. We should be patting them on the back for like, building products that customers love. I actually think it's incredibly simple. The value should stop focusing so much on growth. I mean, maybe you want to write stories about this great traction, but what ends up happening is that's what entrepreneurs pursue, is mm -hmm. traction. And what they really should be focusing on is just delivering something that somebody loves. 